If you know just 100 words in English, you will know more than 50% of the English words that you see and hear. That's why in today's video, I am going to show you the 100 most common words in English. For each word, I will show you the pronunciation, the meaning, and an example sentence. When I pronounce each word, I want you to repeat after me so you can practice your English speaking skills. Get out your notebooks because today you are going to learn a lot of useful vocabulary. Are you ready? Let's look at word number one. Number one, the. The word the is normally used before a noun to talk about people or things that are known to the speaker and the listener. We use the to talk about specific things. For example, give me the pen. The pen means that you know which pen and I know which pen. It's a specific pen. Number two, of. Of has many uses, but the main use is to talk about possession when we want to show the owner of something. For example, he is a friend of mine. Number three, and. And is used when we want to join two or more phrases or words together. For example, I like apples and oranges. Number four, a. We use the word a before a noun which we have not talked about before, when we're talking about something that is not specific. For example, I bought a new car. A new car means you don't know which car. It's not specific. Number five, to. The word to has many uses. One of the main uses of to is when we're talking about movement. For example, he went to the train station. The second main use of to is to show that a verb is the infinitive. For example, I promise to eat that. Number six, in. In means inside a container, a place or an area. For example, the cat is in the house. Number seven, is. The word is is the he, she, and it form of the verb to be, which we will talk more about at word number 22. The word is normally talks about the present, and we can use it for many things, such as talking about things that are normally true, characteristics, and people's jobs. For example, there is your room. Number eight. You. The word you is used to talk about the person who is being spoken to or written to. You. You. For example, are you ready? Number nine, that. The word that is used to talk about a person or a thing that the speaker cannot touch. We use the word that to talk about one thing. For example, I like that pen. Number 10, it. We use the word it to talk about a subject, an object, or a thing that has already been talked about. For example, the company lost money, so it had to close down. Number 11, he. We use the word he to talk about the subject of a sentence that is a man, a boy, or a male thing. For example, Fred is very nice, but he is not very smart. Number 12, was. Was is a past simple form of the verb to be, which we will talk more about at number 22. This means we normally use was when we're talking about the past. Was is normally used with singular subjects. For example, the man was at the bar. Number 13, for. The word for has many uses. 
One of the main uses of for is to show when something is intended to be given to something or someone. For example, the flowers are for you. The second main use of for is to talk about a purpose or reason for something. For example, come to my house for dinner tonight. Number fourteen, on. The word on is used to show that one thing is above another thing, and those two things are touching. For example, the laptop is on the table. Number fifteen, are. The word are is the we, you, and they form of the verb to be. The word are is normally used to talk about the present tense. For example, where are your friends? Number sixteen, as. The word as has many uses. One of the main uses of as is to talk about the purpose or to describe. Something or someone. For example, he works as a doctor. The second main use of as is when we're talking about comparisons or comparing things. For example, she is not as tall as her mother. Number seventeen, with. With is used to show that people or things are together or they are doing something together. For example, did you go with him? Number eighteen, his. His shows that a boy, a man, or a male thing owns something. For example, did you see his new car? Number nineteen, they. We use the word they as the subject of a sentence to talk about two or more people or things. For example, they live in America. Number twenty, I. I is used to talk about the person who is speaking or writing. For example, I work here. Number twenty-one, at. The word at is used to describe an exact position or place. For example, my dog is at. The park. Number twenty-two, B. The word B has many, many, many uses, but the main uses of B are to say something about someone or something, and to show that something exists. The word B has eight forms: B, is, am, are, was, were. Being and been. For example, he wants to be a pilot when he finishes university. Number twenty-three. This. The word this is normally used to talk about something or someone that the speaker can touch. Something or someone that is close to the speaker. We use the word this. To talk about one thing, for example, do you like this lamp? Number twenty-four. Have the word have means to possess or to own. For example, I have a phone. We can also use have when using perfect tenses in English. For example, have you been to China? In this sentence, have does not mean. To own number twenty-five from the word from means where something or someone started. For example, did you come from over there? Number twenty-six or we use the word or to connect two or more different possibilities. For example, I don't know if I want pizza or a burger tonight. Number twenty-seven, one. The word one means the number one or a single thing. So something that is not more than two. For example, I had one piece of cake. Number twenty-eight, had. The word had is the past tense form of the word 
have. So that means had normally talks about the past. For example, I had a dog when I was 10 years old. Number 29, buy. Buy has many uses. The main use is that if something is done by a person or by a thing, that means that person or that thing did it. For example, the food was cooked by their mother. Another use of buy is to show how to do something. For example, you can improve your English by reading books. Number 30, word. The word word means a single part or element of speech which is used to make a sentence. For example, I like this word. Number 31, but. We use the word but to show that two or more ideas or phrases are different. For example, I like coffee, but I don't like tea. Number 32, not. We use the word not to make negative phrases or words. When we use the word not, it gives the phrase or the word the opposite meaning. For example, he is not fat. Number 33, what. What is a question word which we use when we want to get information about a person, an idea or a thing. For example, what color is your hair? Number 34, all. The word all means everything that is spoken or written about. For example, all students like to learn English. Number 35, were. The word were is the past simple form of the verb to be, which we talked about at number 22. The word were normally talks about the past and we normally use were with plural subjects and you. For example, they were working at 6 p.m. Number 36, we. The word we is used to talk about two or more people, including the speaker. For example, we were doctors. Number 37, when. When is also another question word, which we use to ask about what time or what date. For example, when do you start work? Number 38, your. The word your shows that you, the person I am speaking to, owns something. For example, I like your new watch. Number 39, can. Can means to be able to do something or that something is possible. For example, he can speak English. Number 40, said. Said is the past tense form of the word say. So when we use the word said, we are talking about the past. For example, he said the food is delicious. Number 41, there. The word there means at, on or in a certain position, place or area. For example, I am going there next winter. We can also use the word there to show that something exists or something is in the world. For example, there is a package for you. Number 42, use. The word use means to put something to its purpose. For example, do you ever use your PlayStation? Use can also mean to consume or to take. For example, don't use all of your money tonight. Number 43, an. This word can also be pronounced as an. The word an has the same meaning as a, but we use an before words which start with a vowel sound. For example, he has an interesting story. Number 44, each. Each means every thing 
that has been spoken about or that has been written about. For example, each person must bring $10. Number 45, which. The word which is a question word, which we can use when there are only a certain possible number of answers. For example, which party do you want to go to? The word which can also be used to add extra information to a phrase or to a word. For example, the city is very hot, which made me sweat. Number 46. She. We use the word she to talk about the subject of a sentence when the subject is a woman, a girl, or a female thing. For example, Anna is friendly, but she isn't very pretty. Number 47. Do. Do means to take action in something or to perform something. For example, you like to do sports, right? Number 48, how. How is a question word which we use when we want to know by which method or by which way. For example, how did you get here? Number 49, there. The word there is used to show ownership to two or more people or two or more things. Sometimes the word there can show ownership to just one person or one thing. For example, it's their house. Number 50, if. We use the word if to show that one thing can happen only if another thing happens first. For example, if you go to the party tonight, I'll come with you. Number 51, will. Will is used to talk about something that is going to happen in the future. We can also use will to talk about decisions that we make about the future at the time of speaking. For example, John will start his new job next week. Number 52, up. Up means going towards a higher point or position. For example, how did you get up the ladder? Number 53, other. We use the word other to show that there is something else different than what has already been talked about. For example, can I have the other pen, please? Number 54, about. The word about means related to or connected with. For example, what was the book about? The word about can also mean almost. For example, I am about to arrive at your house. Number 55, out. We use the word out to show that something is going away from the inside of a place or a thing. For example, get out of my house. Number 56, many. Many means a large number of things. For example, he has many pairs of shoes. Number 57, then. The word then means at a certain or specific time. For example, what were you doing then? The word then can also mean next or after that. For example, I went to the gym then I went to the restaurant. Number 58, them. Them is used as the object of a sentence to talk about two or more people or things that have already been talked about before. For example, have you seen them before? Number 59, these. These is the plural of the word this and is used to talk about two or more people or things that are close to the speaker. For example, these are my friends. Number 60, so. So can mean very. For example, he is so tall. So can also mean for a specific reason or therefore. For example, I hurt my shoulder today, so I didn't go to the gym. Number 61, some. 
Some means an unspecific number of something. So if we use the word some, that means we don't know the number. We don't know how many. For example, can I have some apples, please? Number 62, her. The word her is used as the object of a sentence to talk about a woman, a girl, or a female thing that has already been spoken about. For example, I haven't seen her before. Number 63, would. The word would has so many different meanings and I could make a whole YouTube video on just the meaning of this word. One of the main uses of the word would is to talk about something in the future which happened in the past. For example, they said they would meet me tomorrow at 7 p.m. So they said it in the past, but what they are talking about is in the future because they said tomorrow at 7 p.m. Number 64, make. The word make means to create or to produce. For example, did you make the cake yourself? Number 65, like. The word like has two main meanings. The first meaning is to enjoy something. For example, she likes dogs. The second meaning is similar to. For example, your shoes are like mine. This means your shoes are similar to mine. Number 66, him. The word him is used as the object of a sentence to talk about a boy, a man, or a male thing, which has already been talked about before. For example, what did you do to him? Number 67, into. The word into means to the inside or middle of a place, container, or thing. For example, have you been into that shop before? Number 68, time. Time is how we measure life. And we can measure time by using minutes, hours, days, and years. For example, what time is it? Number 69, has. Has is the he, she, and it form of the word have. We normally use has with singular subjects. For example, the man has a new car. Number 70, look. Look means to move your eyes towards a certain thing or place. For example, look over there. Number 71, two. The word two means the number two. So the number after one and before three. For example, she is two years old. Number 72, more. The word more means a larger number or amount than you already have. For example, could I have some more food, please? Number 73, write. Write means to make numbers or words on something, such as a computer or a piece of paper. For example, did you write that book? Number 74, go. Go means to move to another place. For example, I want to go by train. Number 75, see. See means when you notice what is around you by using your eyes. For example, did you see that? Number 76, number. Number is a symbol or a sign which shows us how many things or how many people we are talking about. For example, 500 is a number. Number 77, no. No is used to give negative answers and to show that you don't want, like, or agree with something. For example, would you like some coffee? No, thank you. No can also be used to show that there is nothing left. For example, there are no vegetables. Number 78, way. Way means a direction, a route, or a path. 
For example, which way is it? Number 79, could. The word could has many, many, many different meanings and I could make a whole YouTube video on the uses of the word could. But the main use of the word could is when we use could as the past tense form of the word can. For example, when I was in high school, I could eat a lot of pizza. Number 80, people. People means men, women and children. For example, how many people were at the wedding? Number 81, my. The word my is used to show that the person speaking owns something. For example, that is my watch. Number 82, than. The word than is used to make comparisons or to compare things. For example, he is taller than her. Number 83, first. First means the person or the thing that came or happened before everything else. For example, who came first? Number 84, water. Water is a clear liquid that we as humans and plants need to survive. For example, he loves drinking water. Number 85, bean. Bean is the past participle of the word be and can mean visited. For example, have you been to Brazil? Number 86, call. Call means to give something or someone a name. For example, what do you call this in Chinese? Call can also mean when you use a mobile phone or a telephone to communicate or to talk to somebody. For example, what time did she call you? Number 87, who. Who is a question word which asks about which person. For example, who went to the party last night? Who can also be used to give more information about a person. For example, he is the man who works in America. Number 88, oil. Oil is a thick liquid that we can use for cooking and that we can use to make cars and other vehicles work. For example, have you got enough oil? Number 89, it's. We use the word it's to show that something we have already talked about owns something. For example, have you seen its new home? Number 90, now. Now means in the present time, not in the past and not in the future. For example, he is a doctor now. Number 91, find. Find means to locate or to discover something. For example, where did you find it? Number 92, long. The word long can mean a very large period of time or it can mean that the distance from two different points is a very large distance. For example, the movie was very long last night. Number 93, down. Down means moving from a position to a lower position. For example, do you know when the lift will go down? Number 94, day. Day is how we measure time and a day is 24 hours which starts at 12 a.m. or midnight. For example, what day is it today? Number 95, did. The word did is the past simple tense of the word do. The word did can be used with any subject. For example, did you eat the lasagna? Number 96, get. Get means to obtain or to receive something. For example, what did you get her for her birthday? Number 97, come. Come means to move from a position towards the speaker. For example, come over here. Number 98, made. 
The word made is the past tense form of the word make. For example, he made a pizza last night. Number 99, may. We use may to show that something is possible. For example, I may start learning Spanish next year. We can also use the word may to give permission and to ask for permission. For example, may I go to the bathroom? We finally got here. We've made it to the last word of the video. Word number 100 is part. Part means some, but not all of something. For example, which part of the movie was your favorite? The first word is over. Over means above or higher than something. For example, they climbed over the wall. Over can also mean more than. For example, he speaks over 10 languages. The next word is new. New is an adjective which means something that was made or created very recently. For example, have you seen his new car? The next word is sound. Sound is a noun which means something that you can hear or something that can be heard. For example, did you hear all the weird sounds last night? Sound can also be used as a verb, which means to make a noise. For example, you sound like a native speaker. This means you make sounds like a native speaker. The next word is take. Take is a verb, which means to remove something from a place. For example, he always takes cookies without asking. Take can also mean to have or to accept. For example, they don't take credit cards here. This means you cannot use your credit card here. The next word is only. We use the word only to show that something cannot be more than what we just said or what we just wrote. For example, only two people can go. This means not more than two people can go. The next word is little. Little is an adjective which means small. For example, they have a little dog. Little can also mean young. For example, when she was little, she had some really cute shoes. The next word is work. Work is an activity that someone does by using physical or mental effort to achieve something or to do something. Work is normally done for money. For example, what kind of work do you do? Work can also mean the place where you do your job or your work. For example, where is your work? The next word is no. No means to have knowledge of something, to have information about something in your mind. For example, I know how to speak English. The next word is place. Place is a position or an area such as a building or a town. For example, which places do you want to visit? The word place can also be used as a noun to mean home. For example, I really love your place. That means I really love your home. Place can also be used as a verb, which means to put something somewhere. For example, place the bottle here, please. The next word is year. A year is how we measure time. One year has 365 days or 12 months and it normally starts on the 1st of January and finishes on the 31st of December. For example, he worked there for two years. The next word is live. The word live is normally used as a verb and it means to be alive. For example, I want to live until I'm 100 years old. Live can also mean the place where your home is. For example, I live in Australia. The next word is me. The word me is used as the object of a sentence 
to talk about the person who is speaking or the person who is writing. For example, what did you say to me? The next word is back. Back is the opposite of the front of something. For example, what you see on the screen right now is a person's back. Back can also be used as an adverb, which means to go towards a previous time or a previous place. For example, what time did you get back home last night? The next word is give. Give means to offer something to someone or to something. For example, what did she give you for your birthday? The next word is most. Most means almost all. For example, most people like eating ice cream. Most can also be used to mean not more than anyone else. For example, I want to give the most money to charity. This means I don't want anyone else to give more money than me. The next word is very. Very means extremely or to a high degree. We use the word very to add emphasis or to make something stronger. For example, I am very tired. I am tired is here and I am very tired is up here. The next word is after. After means following something or at a later date or time in the future. For example, what do you want to do after dinner? This means dinner is here, following dinner is here, so what do you want to do here? The next word is thing. Thing means object. We use the word thing when we don't want to say the name of the object we are talking about. For example, what is that thing? The next word is our or are. We use this word to show that something belongs to us. We, we own something. For example, it's our house. The next word is just. Just has many meanings. One of the main meanings of just means very soon or very recently. For example, I just got to work when the phone rang. This means very soon after I got to work, the phone rang. The second main meaning of just is almost or almost not. For example, I just got there in time. This means I almost didn't get there in time. The third main meaning of just is only. For example, I was just joking. This means I was only joking. I wasn't doing anything more than joking and I wasn't doing anything less than joking. I was only joking. The next word is name. The word name is a noun which means the word or the words that you use to call something or someone. For example, my name is Shane. Name can also be used as a verb to mean to give someone or something a word to call them. For example, they want to name their daughter Jenny. The next word is good. I think everyone knows the meaning of the word good, but we can use the word good to talk about something that is satisfactory or enjoyable. For example, do you know any good restaurants? The next word is sentence. The word sentence means a group of words which normally has a subject, a verb, and an object. For example, I think you need to write that sentence again. The next word is man. A man is an adult male, which is what you see on the screen right now. A man is the opposite of a woman. For example, did you see the man in the suit? The next word is think. The word think is a verb which means to have an idea or an opinion about something or someone. For example, what did you think about the movie? The next word is say. The word say means to produce words or sounds from the mouth. For example, what did you say? But please note that we say, they say, we say, I say, but we say, he says, she says. 
The next word is great. Great means very good. For example, English understood is a great YouTube channel. The next word is where. The word where is a question word that we can use to ask about the location of a place. For example, where is the restaurant? The word where can also be used to give more information about a place. For example, have you been to that restaurant where they serve that really good chocolate cake? The next word is help. Help means to make something easier for someone to do. For example, how can I help you? The next word is through. Through is a preposition which means in and then out of, from one side to the other side. For example, I went through the tunnel last night. The next word is much. Much means many or a large amount. For example, she spends too much money on shopping. Much can also be used to ask about the amount or the quantity of something. For example, how much money do you make every year? The next word is before. Before means at a time earlier than the time you talked about. For example, what do you do before work? The next word is line. The word line means a long, thin mark on something. For example, the lines on the road are white. A line can also mean what you see on the screen right now. A group of people standing behind each other who are waiting for something. The next word is right. The word right has two main meanings. The first meaning is an adjective which means correct. For example, you got the answer right. This means you got the answer correct. The second main meaning is the opposite of left. For example, go straight and then turn right. The next word is to. The word to means more than is needed or more than is wanted. For example, you ordered too many cakes. The next word is mean. The word mean is used to show something as an idea or as a sentence. For example, what does this word mean? Mean can also be used to describe someone who is not nice, someone who is very unkind. For example, Jenny is very mean. The next word is old. Old means something that has lived or existed for a very long time. For example, she is an old woman. The next word is any. Any means some. Any means a number which we do not know which is more than zero. For example, does he have any apples? This means I am not asking how many apples he has. I am just asking, does he have one or more than one apple? Please note that we normally use any in questions. For example, does he have any apples? And in negative sentences when we want to say no. For example, he doesn't have any apples. The next word is same. The word same means not different. The word same means similar. For example, the boys look the same. The next word is tell. Tell means to say something to someone. We use the word tell when one person says something to another person. For example, what did you tell him? The next word is boy. Boy means a male child. For example, do you know how many boys he has? The next word is follow. Follow is normally used as a verb, which means to go in the same direction as someone or to travel behind someone. For example, follow me down to the petrol station. The next word is came. Came is the past tense verb of the word come. 
Come means to move from a position towards the speaker. For example, he came over last night. The next word is want. Want means to wish for or to desire something. For example, he wants to buy a new car. The next word is show. Show means to make it possible for something to be seen. For example, show me your new phone. The next word is also. Also means in addition to or to, T-O-O. For example, I have a dog and I also have a cat. The next word is around. Around means on every side of something or surrounding something. For example, there are mountains all around us. Around can also mean about or approximately. For example, I have around five pairs of shoes. The next word is form. Form is normally a noun, which means a piece of paper with blank spaces where you can give information to questions. For example, the insurance form has a lot of questions. The next word is three. The word three is the number before four and after two. For example, I can speak three languages. The next word is small. The word small means little in size when you compare that thing to something that is normal for that thing. For example, they are small bananas. The next word is set. Set can be used as a verb, which means to put something somewhere. For example, he set the cutlery on the table. Set can also be used to mean a group of things which belong together. For example, I want to get that furniture set. The next word is put. The word put means to move something into a specific place or location. For example, where did you put your keys? The next word is end. The word end means the last part of something or something that is furthest from the center. For example, we are at the end of the queue. The next word is does. Does is the he, she, it form of the verb do. We normally use does with singular subjects except for I and you. For example, all he does is play computer games all day. The next word is another. The word another means one more person or one more thing. We use the word another when we already have something and then we want one more. For example, can I have another piece of cake? This means I have already eaten one or more than one piece of cake. Now I want one more. I want another piece of cake. The next word is well. Well is an adverb which means in a good way. We use the word way when we want to describe how someone or something does something. For example, he speaks English really well. The next word is large. The word large means big. For example, they have a large house. The next word is must. We use the word must to show that something is necessary or very important. For example, you must show your passport at the airport. This means it is necessary for you to show your passport at the airport. It must be done. There is no choice. The next word is big. Big is the opposite of small. Big means large. Big means of considerable size. For example, he has big muscles. The next word is even. Even has many meanings. One of the main meanings of even is to show that something can be divided in two. For example, 10 is an even number. This is because we can take 10 and put it into two groups. The second main meaning of even is to show that something is surprising to us or unusual. 
For example, they haven't even been to New York. We use even to show that we are surprised that they haven't been to New York. We think it's very unusual. The next word is such. We use the word such before an adjective to make it stronger, to give it more emphasis. For example, he is such a nice person. He is a nice person is here. And he is such a nice person is up here. The next word is because. Because means for the reason that. We use the word because to show a reason for something. For example, I went there because of the food. Why did I go there? What was the reason for me going there? It was the food. The food was the reason. The next word is turn. Turn can be used as a verb, which means to change direction, normally in a circular motion like this. For example, when you get to the traffic lights, turn left. Turn can also be used as a noun, which means an opportunity to do something. For example, is it my turn in the game yet? The next word is here. The word here means in, at, or on this position. For example, I have filmed many of my videos right here. The next word is why. Why is a question word that we can use to ask the reason for something. For example, why are you learning English? This means we want to know the reason for you learning English. The next word is ask. The word ask means to say something to someone, to get an answer to a question, or to get information. For example, ask your teacher if you don't understand. The next word is went. Went is the past form of the verb go. Go means to travel to a place. For example, they went to the beach last weekend. The next word is men. Men is the plural form of the noun man. That means when you use the word men, you need to be talking about more than one man. For example, can all the men in the room stand up please? The next word is read. The word read means when you look at symbols or words and you understand their meaning. For example, he likes to read the newspaper on Friday. The next word is need. The word need means you must have something or you want it very badly. For example, I need to see a doctor. The next word is land. The word land means an area of ground which is not covered by water. For example, they want to buy a piece of land near the ocean. The next word is different. The word different means not the same as. So if two things are different, that means they are not the same. For example, those two restaurants serve different food. The next word is home. Home is normally used to mean the place where you sleep and where you eat and where you spend most of your time normally with your family. For example, I'll be home after 4 p.m. The next word is us. Us is used as the object of a sentence to talk about more than one person which includes the speaker. For example, could you give us some more time? That means I and the person or people that I am with need more time. The next word is move. The word move means to change the position or the location of something or someone. For example, please move to the waiting room. The next word is try. The word try means to attempt to do something. For example, he likes to try lifting heavy weights. The next word is kind. The word kind is an adjective which means generous, friendly, and considering the feelings of others. Kind is the opposite of mean. 
For example, he is a kind person. Kind can also mean the type or a group of people or things which are similar. For example, I like all kinds of music. The next word is hand. This is your hand. For example, I write with my left hand. The next word is picture. A picture is a painting, a photograph, a drawing or an image created by someone. For example, the program lets you create amazing pictures. The next word is again. The word again means one more time. So if you do something again, that means you have already done that thing before in the past. For example, let's go on that roller coaster again. The next word is change. The word change can mean to make something become different. The word change can also mean to exchange one thing for another thing or to swap things, normally when those two things are similar. An example sentence could be, he always likes to change his clothes after he finishes his workout. The next word is off. The word off means when something is not working or operating because it is not switched on. For example, turn the TV off. Off can also mean when something goes away from a place or a position. For example, you should take your jumper off because it's really hot. The next word is play. Play can mean when you do something that is enjoyable, something that you think is fun. For example, the mother loves to play with her children. We can also use the word play to mean to do a sport. For example, he likes to play soccer. The next word is spell. The word spell means when we put letters into the correct order to make a word. For example, how do you spell this word? The next word is air. Air is the gases on the earth that we breathe. For example, I love going to the mountains to get some fresh air. The next word is away. The word away means at a distance from a place or from a thing. For example, we went away from the house. The house is here. We are here. There is a distance between the two things. We went away from the house. The next word is animal. An animal is normally something that is living, that eats, that breathes, that can see, that can hear, and something that can reproduce. For example, an elephant is a very big animal. The next word is house. House is a noun which means a building where people live, eat, and sleep. For example, your house is beautiful. The next word is point. Point can have many meanings. One meaning is when you do this. For example, in some cultures, when you point, it's rude. Point can also be used as a noun, which means an idea or an opinion. For example, I don't understand your point. Could you explain it again, please? The next word is page. A page is one side of a sheet of paper in a magazine, a newspaper, a book, or any other thing that has sheets of paper. For example, the book has 50 pages. The next word is letter. A letter is a written symbol that we can use to write or type the sounds of a language. For example, English has 26 letters. A letter is also something that you write which is sent in an envelope in the post. For example, she sent me a very long letter. The next word is mother. A mother is a female parent. For example, I haven't met your mother yet. The next word is answer. 
The word answer can be used as a verb to mean to respond to a question. For example, you didn't answer my question. Answer can also be used as a noun. For example, what is the answer? The next word is found. The word found is the past tense form of the word find. Find means to discover something. For example, I can't believe you found my pen. I lost it five years ago. The next word is study. Study means to do something which helps you to learn something. For example, how often do you study English? The next word is still. The word still has several meanings. One of the main meanings is to show that something started in the past and it's still happening now. For example, I'm still working as a teacher. Another meaning of still is something that is not moving. For example, the lake is so still. The next word is learn. The word learn means to get knowledge about a specific topic, subject or activity. For example, I like to learn about computers. The next word is should. We use the word should to give advice and to tell someone what we think the best thing to do is. For example, if you want to lose weight, you should exercise. The next word is America. The word America normally means the United States of America, the country that you can see on the screen right now. It can also mean the continents, North America or South America. For example, I can't wait to go to America next year. The next word is world. The word world means the earth, including all countries and all people. For example, the world is an amazing place. The first word, hi. Look at this person right here. He is very high. High. High means being a large distance from the top to the bottom of something or a large distance above the ground. For example, a high mountain. The next word is every. Look at this picture. Do you think all of these people are happy? Yes, they are. So we can say every person in this picture is happy. Every means all. Not some, not a few, not a lot, not many. We use this word when we're talking about all. The next word is near. Do you think this bee is close to me? Yes, he is. The bee is near me. Near means very close. Near means not far. Now look, look at the bee. Is the bee close to me? No. So that means now the bee is not near me. The next word is add. I have one banana here and two bananas here. If I add the bananas together, now I have three bananas. Add means if you take two or more things or numbers and you put them together to get a total. The next word is food. Look at all this delicious food right here. Which food would you eat first? Food means something that we eat to keep us alive. It can be fruit, vegetables, meat. It can be anything, but it has to be something that we eat. The next word is between. I have a lamp on my left. I have books on my right. I am between the lamp and the books. Between means in the space that separates two things. There is space between the books and the lamp and I am in that space. I am between the lamp and the books. The next word is own. Look at this phone right here. Whose phone is it? It's my phone. So I can say, I own this phone. 
Own means to have something. Own can also mean belonging to a specific person or thing. For example, I have a phone of my own. The next word is below. Hey, are you there? Can you see me? No, you can't see me because I am below the table. Below means in a position lower than or under. So just before I was below the table, I was under the table. The next word is country. Australia, Canada, France, England. What are all of these things? They are countries. Australia is a country. England is a country. A country is an area of land which has its own government and army. What's your country? Comment down below. The next word is plant. Can you see me? Can you see me? No, you can't see me because I am behind a plant. A plant is a living thing which normally grows in the earth and has a stem, leaves, and roots. Plant can also be used as a verb. It means to put a plant in the ground. For example, this person here, it looks like he is about to plant a tree. The next word is last. Last. Did you see what just happened there? The students came in first and then I came in. I came in last. Last means after everything else. The next word is school. What is this place here? It's a school. What do people do here? They learn. So a school is a place where people go to learn. For example, the kids love going to school. Now let's pretend I have a dog and I need to teach that dog something. I can say I need to school my dog. School can also be used as a verb and it means to train something or someone to do something. The next word is father. A father is a male parent. For example, the man in this photo is the child's father. The next word is keep. Keep has many meanings, but let's talk about the main ones. Let's pretend your friend lets you use a book on Monday. Now today is Thursday and your friend wants the book back today, but you haven't finished reading it. On Thursday, you can say, can I keep the book for a few more days? Keep means to continue to have something. So I got the book on Monday, now it's Thursday and I want to continue to have it. Your friend says, yes, you can keep the book until Sunday. Now, when Saturday comes around, your friend says to you, give the book back tomorrow. And he doesn't just say it one time, he says it 10 times. You can say, he keeps telling me to give the book back. Keep in this sentence means when you do something repeatedly, you do something again and again and again and again. Can you see me? No, I can't see you either. That's because I am behind a tree. The next word is tree. A tree is a very tall plant with a trunk which has branches which grow out of the upper part. For example, that's a very big tree. The next word is never. Look at this. Would you ever do this? Or do you think it's too scary? For me, I think it's too scary, so I would say I would never go bungee jumping. Never means not at any time or occasion. So if I would never go bungee jumping, that means I would not do it at any time. The next word is start. Look at this person here. Is he working? No, he isn't. What about this person? Is he working? Yes, he is. What time does he start work? He starts work at 10 a.m. Start means when you begin doing something. He begins his work at 10 a.m. The next word is city. Would you go to this city? A city is a large town, normally with lots of buildings, roads, and people. The next word is earth. This is earth. Earth is the planet that we are on right now. For example, 
What is your favorite place on earth? The next word is I. Hey, what are you looking at? Is there something wrong with my eye? And I is this thing right here. It's the thing that allows us to see. The next word is light. What I have in my hand right here is a light. A light makes light and it allows us to see when it's dark. Hey, who turned out the lights? Oh, okay, that's better, now I can see. Okay, this light here is not heavy, so we can say it's light. This light is light. Light can also mean not heavy. And finally, light can also be used as a verb, which means to make something burn. For example, can you light the candle. Hmm. I just had a thought. Do you know what I thought? I thought that English is an easy language. The next word is thought. Thought can be used as a noun to mean something that you think. Thought can also be used as a verb and it's the past tense verb of the word think. Hmm. The next word is head. This is your head. For example, is there something on your head? No, there's nothing on my head. Is there? The next word is under. Oh, hey, can you see that guys? There's a bird up there. So I can say I am under the bird. Under means at a position that is lower than something else. I am under the bird. The next word is story. Look at this woman over here. What is she doing? She is telling the children a story. A story is a description of something that happened. It can be something that really happened, something that's true, or it can be something that didn't happen. It's something that the person just made up. The next word is saw. Wow, did you see that? I just saw a chicken. The word saw is the past tense form of the verb see. See is the present tense, verb one, and saw is the past tense, verb two. The next word is left. Left is the opposite of right. Left, right. Left, right. For example, turn left at the traffic lights. Left can also be used as a verb, which is the past tense form of the verb leave. For example, what time did you leave this morning? I left my house at 9 a.m. The next word is don't. Don't means do not. For example, I really don't like hot weather. The next word is few. I have a few bananas. I have a few bananas. A few means a small amount. Normally when we say a few, it normally means about three, but sometimes it can be less and sometimes it can be more. The next word is while. This person here, he is reading. He is also waiting to see his doctor. We can say he is reading while he is waiting to see his doctor. While can mean at the same time. So he is reading and he is waiting at the same time. The next word is along. This man here is walking along the road. Along means from one part of a road, a river or something like that to another part. So this man here, he is on one part of the road and he is moving to another part. The next word is might. Right now it's 1.30 in the afternoon. I might edit this video today, but I'm not sure. Might means something will possibly happen. It's possible to happen, but we're still not sure if it will happen. The next word is close. Close means to make something not open. For example, do you close the door when you're at 
home. This word can also be pronounced as close. When we pronounce the word as close, it means not far. For example, these bananas and these books are very close to me. Why? Because I can touch them and they're not far. The next word is something. Wow, look at that. There's something over there. We use the word something to talk about a thing when we're not sure about the name of that thing. So this thing here, I'm not sure what it's called. So I said there's something over there. The next word is seem. Look at this student. This student seems nice. Seem means to appear to be true, to look like something is true, but you're not 100% sure if that thing is true. The next word is next. Can the next student come in please? Next means the thing that follows something else, the thing that comes after something. The next word is hard. Look what this student has to say. Many students say that English is hard. Hard means difficult. Hard means not easy. Hard can also mean not soft. For example, this table here is not soft. It's very hard. The next word is open. For example, this door here is open. If something is open, it's not closed. Open can also be used as a command to tell someone to open something. For example, if I say, open the door, that means I want you to open the door. The next word is example. In this video, I have given you many examples of how to use these words. An example is something that shows how to do something or the correct way to do or use something. The next word is begin. This man here, he likes to begin his day by eating breakfast. Begin means to start. The next word is life. Do you think that there are more people out here? Do you think there is more life out here? Life means living things and their activities. The next word is always. Fred walks to work. Fred walks to work every day. We can say Fred always walks to work. Always can mean every time or at all times. The next word is those. Those is the plural form of the word that. For example, four cars. I can say those four cars are blue. We use that with one thing and those with more than one. The next word is both. These two people, they are my friends. They are both my friends. We use the word both when we are talking about two things. There are two people here. They are both my friends. The next word is paper. This thing over here is a piece of paper. For example, do you have any paper? The next word is together. These two people, they are walking. They are walking together. Together means with each other. The next word is got. Got is the past tense form of the verb get. For example, he got a new phone for his birthday. The next word is group. When I went to university, I had some friends. These friends and I, we always did things together. I can say I had a group of friends. Group means two or more people or things which are connected or do things together. The next word is often, or it can be pronounced often. Both are correct. Now, I go to the gym five days a week. 
I can say, I go to the gym often. Often means many times or something you do regularly. Something that happens all the time. The next word is run. This person here loves to run. Run means to move at a speed that is faster than walking. The next word is important. Let's pretend I have a piece of paper and I have a phone. The phone is important to me. The piece of paper is not important to me. Important means something that is valuable or useful. The word important can be used to talk about people or things. The next word is until. You are watching this video right now and I want you to keep watching so you can learn every word in this video. I want you to watch until the end of the video. Until means continuing to happen before a certain time and then stopping when that time comes. So when the time comes that the video finishes, then you can stop watching. Keep watching until the end. The next word is children. This man here, he has one child. Now he has two children. Children is the plural for the word child. One child, two children. The next word is side. This is my right side. This is my left side. Side means one of the two parts if you divide something down the middle. So if you drew a line down the middle, this is one side, this is the other side. The next word is feet. This is one foot. This is two feet. Feet is the plural for the word foot. So if you're talking about one foot, you say foot. If you're talking about two or more feet, you say feet. For example, everyone has two feet. The next word is car. This here is a car. What's your favorite type of car? Comment down below. The next word is mile. Every morning, this person here, he starts here and he finishes here. He runs a mile. A mile is a unit of measuring distance. A mile is 1,609 meters. The next word is night. Look out the window. It's very dark and many people are sleeping now. Night means the time in every 24 hours when it's dark and most people are normally sleeping. For example, he loves going to the gym at night because it's very quiet. The next word is walk. Look at this person here. She likes to walk. It's her favorite activity. Walk means to move forward by putting one foot in front of the other foot again and again and again. The next word is white. White is the color that you see on the screen right now. The next word is C, C with an A. This is a C. A C is a large body of salt water. For example, have you ever been to the Red Sea? The next word is began. Began is the past tense form of the verb begin. Begin means to start. For example, he began learning English when he was five years old. The next word is grow. Trees normally start like this and they finish like this. For example, trees grow very slowly. Grow means to develop or to get bigger or longer over time. The next word is took. Did you see that? The man took the money. Took is the past tense form of the verb take. Take can mean to remove something without permission. Take can also mean when you 
bring something with you. For example, I went to the park yesterday and I took a bottle of water. The next word is river. This here is a river. A river is a long body of water, which normally connects to a sea or an ocean. For example, the longest river in the world is the Amazon River. The next word is four. Four is the number after three and before five. For example, there are four apples. The next word is carry. This girl here, she likes to carry shopping bags when she goes shopping. Carry means to hold something with your hands or sometimes when you put it on your back and to move it from one place to another place. The next word is state. At the moment, the world has a lot of problems because of a virus. We can say the world is in a bad state. State means the condition or quality of something. State can also be used to talk about the parts of a country. For example, the United States of America has 50 states. State can also be used as a formal word, which means say. For example, he will state that he loves learning English. The next word is once. I have been to China one time in the past. So I can say I have been to China once. Once means one time. The next word is book. This is a book. What's your favorite book? Comment down below. The next word is here. Hey, do you hear that? Oh, it's a police car. I wonder where it's going. Here means to be aware of sound through your ears. Stop. We have learned about 72 words. So let's stop and take a little break. Okay, we can keep learning now. Stop means to not continue something that you were doing or to not move. So just before we were learning and then we stopped because we did not continue what we were doing for about five seconds. Now we are learning again and we have started that thing again. The next word is without. I know your English is very good. I know that you speak English without any problems. Without means not having. So if you do something without any problems, that means you do that thing and you do not have any problems with that thing. The next word is second. The first word in this video was high. The second word was every. Second means the thing which comes after the first thing. Now second also has a second meaning. Second can mean one part out of the 60 parts of a minute. The next word is later. Right now I am filming a YouTube video. After I finish filming I have to edit the video. I can say Later, I have to edit the video. Later means at some time after something. Maybe 10 minutes, maybe an hour, maybe two days. At some time after that thing. The next word is miss. I haven't seen my parents for six months. I feel sad because I haven't seen them for so long. I can say I miss my parents. Miss means when you feel sad because you haven't seen something or someone for normally a long time. Let's pretend I had to catch a flight at 5 p.m. to go and see my parents. But I got to the airport at 5.30 p.m. I missed my flight. Miss can also mean when you don't go to something or when you get to something late. Now, when I was at the airport, I met this girl. Her name is Miss Russell. Miss Russell. Miss can also be used as a title for a young girl who's not married. 
The next word is idea. What do you think about this idea? Is it a good idea? An idea is a suggestion or a thought about something. The next word is enough. Wow, look at all that money. That's a lot of money, but it's still not enough. I want more. Enough means as much as is necessary. So if I say there's not enough, that means there is not as much as is necessary. There is not as much as we need. We need more. But if I say there is enough money, that means we don't need more. The next word is eat. Wow, look at all that food. It looks delicious. I would love to eat it all. Eat means to put food in your mouth, chew it, and swallow it. The next word is face. What you can see right here is my face. A face is the front part of someone's head, which contains your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. For example, she has a very pretty face. The next word is watch. The word watch has two main meanings. This is the first meaning. A watch is something that tells you what time it is. Now, sometimes I go to the cinema. Why do I go to the cinema? I go to watch a movie. Watch means to look at something normally for a long period of time. The next word is far. Look at the earth. Let's pretend one person is here and another person is here. We can say these people are very far from each other. Far means at a very large distance. They are not close. They are not close together. The next word is Indian. Look at this building here. This building is in India, the country. So we can say this building is Indian. Indian means something that is in India or something that was made in India. The next word is really. I like making English lessons. No, that's not strong enough. I want to make it stronger. I can say, I really like making English lessons. Really means very. So if you really like something, that means you like it a lot. The next word is almost. Look up here, there's a bird. I can almost touch it, but I can't. I'm very close, but I can't touch it. So I can say, I can almost touch the bird. Almost means very close. So if something almost happens, that means it didn't happen, but it was very close to happening. The next word is let. For example, I have a student and he says to me, Shane, can I go to the bathroom? I say, yes, you can. In this situation, we can say the teacher let the student go to the bathroom. Let means when you allow someone to do something or when you allow something to happen. The next word is above. Look at my phone and now look at the book. Which one is higher? My phone's higher, right? So we can say the phone is above the book. Above means higher than. So just before, my phone was higher than the book. The next word is girl. Wow, did you see her? She was very pretty. A girl is a young woman or a female child. For example, there's a girl who works at the library. The next word is sometimes. Do you watch my YouTube videos every day? Probably not. Do you watch my YouTube videos maybe once or twice a week? Yes, probably. That means you watch my videos sometimes. Sometimes means on some occasions, but not often. The next word is mountain. This is a mountain. 
A mountain is a very high hill. For example, did you see that mountain over there? The next word is cut. Look over here. The paper started in one piece, but now it's in two pieces. So we can say the scissors cut the paper. Cut means when you use a knife or another sharp object to divide something, to put a hole in something or to remove part of something. The next word is young. This person has lived for a long time. This person has not lived for a long time. This person is very young. Young means something or someone that has not existed for a long time. The next word is talk. These two people here, they say something to each other every week. We can say they talk to each other every week. Talk can also be used as a noun. For example, they are having a talk. The next word is soon. For example, this video will finish very soon. Soon means after a short period of time. The next word is list. You can learn English by speaking, reading, writing, or listening. That there is a list. A list is a series of things which are normally written one on top of the other. So that list over there is a list of the different ways that you can learn English. List can also be used as a verb. For example, list the best ways to learn English. The next word is song. Have you heard her new song? A song normally means a piece of music which has singing and different instruments. The next word is being. Being is the present participle for the word be. We normally use being when we're talking about something that is existing right now. For example, look at this child. We can say this child is being naughty. That thing is existing now. The next word is leave. Leave means to go away from something or someone. For example, I am going to leave right now. The next word is family. There's a man. He met a woman. They fell in love. They had a baby. Now they are a family. A family is a group of people who are related to each other. For example, a mother, a father, and a child. The next word is its. Its is a contraction which means it is. For example, it's great that you watched the whole video. Now I have a challenge for you. You have learned 100 words today. Now I want you to write a short story in the comments below and I want you to use five of the words that you learned today. I can't wait to read your story and I will see you in the next lesson.